Mr. Karasik Konstantin. He may be just 29 years old, but this Belarus-born engineer already boasts a vast experience in the worldwide steel industry. He has accomplished prestigious installation and commissioning of projects for systems and machines for steel industries in China, Russia, Kazakhstan, Qatar, Iran and India. A specialist when it comes to steel making machines, Mr. Konstantin's expertise lies in integration of technologies in the industrial sector. With great pleasure, we welcome Mr. Karasik Konstantin amongst us. request Mr. Constantine to address the August gathering. Uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your warm welcome. Uh, thank you very much guys over there in the gallery that you found time and come up here. Um, so I would like to be a little bit old-fashioned. I'm not to going to talk about any financing. I'm going to uh, say a few words about the uh, success of our company. Mogot Chalmer, and uh, the way we are achieving it. Uh, as it was told already, I think, not sure, uh, we are making uh, equipment for, for steel industry. Uh, to be precise, we are making rolling mills. And uh, we are doing that for last 150 years, so we got some experience in the subject. Um, the reason why we are here is to uh, share how, why, and what we are doing. And I think it's very important to explain also why, b before to start to explain why we are doing that and how we are doing that. Uh, I would like to say a few words about the industry. So steel making is uh, one of the most ancient industries. To be more or less precise, it has uh, 4,000 years of history. And this is, uh, please understand it, is not uh, 4,000 years uh, of time which it was just flowing. It's 4,000 years of uh, innovation, improvement, and competition. Very rough competition, very hard and very tough one. So nowadays, if you look at this big structures, steel factories which, which might not be uh, fashionable, attractive uh, looking. Consider that uh, it's an ultimate ins instrument of competition. And nowadays uh, this competition came to, to, to the height of, I would compare it to a um, run of 100 meters final at, at any Olympic stadium. The competition, and it's, it's very tough. And the difference between winners and those who are not winning, fractions of a second. If we're talking about steel making, is fraction of percentages of yield. Uh, maybe it's a little bit too much technical term. It means that we are taking a product, a raw product, and we are making the final product. And the usage of raw product nowadays is varies from 97, 98 percent. And those who are winning the competitions, like for example, Missile Corporation, they are just half percent maybe ahead of their competitors in the yield. Uh, another very particu particular um, thing of, of the industry is it needs a lot of investment, huge investment. And uh, when something happens to, to these kind of industries uh, or factories, the big problem of it, uh, the biggest, the most important is people. Because this, in, this kind of industry involves a lot, a lot of people working there. So to win this competition is vital not just for owners, it's vital also for a lot of people who are involved. And uh, this is not easy. And to be just a fraction better than uh, any of your competitors requires 
state-of-the-art technology. Technology, process, management. Uh, please, again, I'm, uh, maybe I'm bothering you and being a little bit boring for you, but I would like to underline that we are competing with the fractions of percentages, and those who are a fraction ahead is winning. And uh, in these circumstances, uh, this is what Mr. Muti was saying yesterday. Streamlining of the process of production, streamlining of every and each stage of uh, delivering the final product is very important. And uh, one of the tools which steel industry is using, especially in the long products, is the company which I'm proud to present, Morgan Chalmer. Uh, we are making state-of-the-art equipment uh, for rolling. And uh, how do we do it? How do we compete? Again, I said we are older than 150 years. In 2006, we were celebrating our big anniversary, and even Swedish king came to congratulate us with that. Consider, please, that we are doing things differently, not as everyone else. And uh, this is, again, this is a cliché. Uh, you are here in a uh, study marketing, business, economy, management, you know it. So the best way to win is or make things different or, sh or shape the markets by yourself or make a new market. So we are trying to make it all of it. First of all, uh, unlike all others, uh, we are making equipment in Sweden. Please think about it. And nowadays, price-oriented market, we found a way how to manage and keep production in Sweden, which is one of the most expensive countries on Earth. And that is, of course, uh, our people. And this is, of course, management. And this is something uh, that I'd like to share with you. Uh, the biggest treasure of the company, of any company, uh, as it was said, is people. And uh, our people, like I am, we are very proud to work with a for a company of such history. Uh, and um, we, we created an environment uh, when people are really happy to go to job every day. We created the environment when, in a lot of cases, the first job they take is mortgage charmer. And the job they're going to pension from is also mortgage charmer. So we, uh, what we are trying to create and what we have is an, an, an atmosphere where a job, we are friends, we are equal, and we are creating for enough space for every individual, enough space to, be, to feel free, to do what a person does best, and to be comfortable with that. Uh, an example, uh, just uh, three weeks ago, before I was uh, departing from Sweden, we had a uh, celebration, uh, very, for me, to me personally, it was a very sad evening because it was a celebration of uh, Madame. Her name is uh, uh, Gunbrit. She was working in the company 45 years. 45 years, please think about it. And uh, a lot of people were saying uh, a lot of warm words to her. And what was very interesting, there were guys who joined the company a few months ago. There were guys who were 20 years in the company, and uh, she was mentoring them. And all of, let's say, all I cannot say, a majority of people working and bringing all these solutions and technologies together are really, really proud of doing what they are doing, and they are happy to stay uh, in this small place and they are consistent. And please consider that um, what is also very important, uh, the knowledge that we have now, 
after more than 150 years of experience, is gathered by a generation of people who are living in the neighborhood. Because Morgan Chalmer, by the way, is the name of the, also of the place, uh, together with the suburbs is uh, just 5,000 uh, inhabitants. And we have people who are the second or third generation working in the same company. Yeah, thank you very much, yes. And um, we do believe that this is important. We do believe that this is important because it's not about the drawings. We have a huge archive. When I go there, I, I got scared, really. I got scared because there is no way it is possible to fish out anything from there. It's huge. It's, it's, uh, it's impressive. We have drawings uh, uh, of tanks, of um, uh, warships, uh, of equipment, different kind of equipment. But uh, we have people. And this is our treasure. We have now my colleague, um, uh, Peter Maiskov, Dr. Maiskov, just um, uh, during lunch I met Mr. Anand. Uh, think about it. Uh, a, a gentleman in India knows a person from Sweden, which is 72 years old, which is 45 years in the industry, uh, being born in England, uh, made his PhD in England and 45 years he works for Morgan Chalmer and now he, this gentleman is my mentor and uh, he's 72 he's passing forward to us his experience and uh, he's about to get pensioned and we of course we ask him to not to do it uh, but of course he will do uh, and, but anyway uh, we all of our pensioned colleagues. We ask them and company pays them and to come at least once or twice a week to the office. And even if they're just chatting around with us, uh, sharing some of the funny stories that they experience somewhere in the world. They, the most important is that then we don't need to go to the archive which every one of us is scared of. Because when I'm talking to Dr. Maiskov, he knows what is in the archive. And he tells us what can we do and how can we do. So it's, again, it's a special atmosphere of a people who devoted their lives to the industry, to the company, and they feel so comfortable with that, that uh, they are sending even their children uh, to join the company. And we have such examples and not one. Another thing what I would like to say is um, that when, it's a cliche, of course, uh, but maybe, anyway, I would like to repeat it. Um, it was told several times on this stage that uh, when a company is managed, it is very important, extremely important, to find the best people available. And this is not easy. And this is sometimes also not cheap. And uh, not cheap not just uh, in terms of money. It's not cheap also in terms of efforts. But it pays off, for sure. And uh, we are very multicultural. And I would like to, to say, especially to you young guys in the gallery, students, be multicultural. When you will look for people for, to join your teams, do not focus just on the area. I'm the best example of it. I'm working for a Swedish company. Bean was born and educated in Belarus, uh, to be precise, in Soviet Union. Then I was working for an Italian company, traveling all around the world, and then I moved to Sweden because they believe that I can join their team and I can bring something which they might not have. We have people from Germany. We have people from um, England, as I said. We have people from Ukraine. They have people from Belarus, myself. Uh, we, we are 
communicating and collaborating with all the world. We have colleagues in India, we have colleagues in England, we have colleagues in both Americas, in Europe, in China, in Taiwan, everywhere. So I ask you, please, be multicultural. This is very, very important in nowadays time because, again, this is cliche, but the world is flat. And the only way nowadays that a company can reach a success, being successful, is to be multicultural. And we are multicultural for the last 150 years. And we are still here. We still work. We're still profitable. And we are still expanding. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and please remember one thing about people. When you look for the best people and you hire them, remember the following, please. That best people do not like frames. You cannot put them in a, in a frame. Because they don't like it. They want to be free. They want to be responsible. If you feel that a person can bring something to your comp company, give a person some freedom. And this is how we work. For example, uh, my colleagues does not check my job. I do not check their job. And sometimes when we are exchanging some documents and asking, asking to look through, it's not because we are checking, it's because we are thinking that one head is good, but two is better. So please, please, I'm asking you. And this works. This really works. Again, we are a nice example of it. So please, when you are working with people, especially if you are already managing best people that you could find, please consider that they are personalities and they need some freedom in what they are doing. And this trust creates a devotion. And devotion creates dedication. And when people are dedicated to the company, you have a result that we have. People are happy to come to job. People are happy and, and proud to, to, uh, to be part of the team. And they are very happy to take it as a first job and to consider it as a last job, which in nowadays world is very, very rare. And I think this is, this is very important. And um, in the end, I would like to tell you one story. Uh, which is not mine, of course. Uh, I've read it in a very famous book. I don't remember the author, but uh, um, uh, the name of the book is When Cultures Collide. Uh, it was a survey between, uh, uh, which was uh, given to journalists from different countries. And they were asked to uh, make a name for an article. Uh, an article must be about elephants. And they, and they were supposed to write this article. So um, there were many people, um, French of course, they, they, they wrote an article about elephants and their love life. Um, Germans, uh, they wrote an article of uh, life of elephants and that was 600 pages with references. Uh, Americans, they made an article of how to breed bigger and better elephants. Russians, they made an article with the following name, how to send an elephant to the moon. So I, when, when you manage the company, I would like to ask you, and uh, this is our experience. First, enlight the room, as Mr. Mutis says, with the 600 pages of information. Then, try to breed bigger and better elephants, and then send them to the moon. This is, I think, the way we succeeded, and I think this is a nice recipe for any company. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Is there any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Constantine. 
I now invite Mr. Shiv Kumar to conduct the interactive session. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first few questions for uh, Raghavendra Singh Ji. Yeah, you, can, you can be there, yes, please. First of all, thanks very much for an excellent uh, overview given to the audience about uh, the future for Indore. Uh, Indore possibility, uh, possibly has, has to change from hospitality to development with sense and ownership and pride. But I presume hospitality from Indore will not go with all sorts of uh, progress which will come. Uh, there are few questions. Uh, questions are common. I will read the name. Amit is Amit Soni, Mithila, uh, Kanika, Akruti, Alok. These are then questions. Are certain questions are common also. So I have just summarized the questions and I will ask one by one. Uh, the first question is that implementation has been an issue. Uh, implementation has been an issue. How it will be tackled? I believe uh, the only thing by which implementation can be done is uh, by better planning and then the perseverance uh, which has to be there always. Uh, let us take the case of uh, bus rapid transit system itself. When we joined uh, here in Indore city, Indore district as uh, district magistrate and collector of uh, the city, we started the system of uh, doing regular meetings and uh, now every week Anything happened, but the meeting is not changed, and uh, we do uh, monitoring uh, and review is always there. And you must have uh, by now observed that uh, the work uh, which was started for three years back and uh, initial, uh, say, in one year, uh, say, one and a half years, there is almost uh, negligible progress. But nowadays, it is uh, running very fast. And if uh, there are some obstructions uh, which are uh, uh, only, uh, say, in single, single digit numbers, so we are very sure that we are going to see a very good road in, uh, say, uh, next uh, five to six months. So only way you can do is so by monitoring, by having perseverance uh, regarding the work, by solving the problem, and then uh, by having uh, input information regarding each and everything. Thank you, sir. Another, thank you. Another question is, uh, when Indore will get the status of a metro? When Indore will get the status of a metro city? So I'm really surprised to uh, answer this, uh, to hear this question, by the way, at the very first instance. What will happen if you are given metropolitan status? I really don't know. And what is meant by that? So uh, we are already, as I was presenting my case, we are already a city which has been declared by none other than uh, Mr. Narayan Murthy that we are one of the future cities, one of the best cities in the entire country. Why on earth one has to be declared metropolitan or anything else? I really don't know. Another question relates to pollution. That what let me, let me let me let me just Sorry. say one more thing. In case of Delhi, they have made one national capital territory. So the rule which is there for Delhi, it has it is it is governed by municipal corporation Delhi. Then it has also been now proposed that it will be divided into in four. So four different municipal corporations. There is one for Delhi Development Authority, then the Greater Noida Development Authority, Greater Noida Municipal Corporation. So there are plethora of organizations. I really don't know how this question has arisen. Sir. Another question is uh, what proactive measures will be taken to control the pollution which will get associated with the development? Yes, sir. Pollution, pollution, sir. Pollution, pollution, pollution. problem. Pollution is uh, one of uh, the major problems, uh, be it uh, per se air pollution or uh, noise pollution or uh, uh, other kind of industrial pollution. But let me tell you, Indore has always been pioneer, Indore will be pioneer, Indore will be one of those cities which will counter this issue in, in the right earnest. You may be knowing that uh, Indore City Transport Services Limited is giving very good services and probably the best services in the entire country. We do have uh, some facilities of using uh, CNG buses. We are applying CNG buses on all the routes. We have also started the system of giving our auto rickshaws these CNG facilities. You will be surprised to know that Avantika Gas Limited, which is a joint venture between the Gas Authority of India Limited and then with the one private company. So they are going to supply fuel with this pipeline system. Naturally, we do have the advantage of having Hajira Vijaypur, Jagdishpur pipeline going by the side of Indore. 
So believe me that in case of air pollution, we will be one of those cities which will be pioneer in entire country. You cannot name any other city where we are moving in such direction. Though I understand that lots of work has to be done, and lots of things has to be carried out. Basically in Pithampur, we do have one uh, system uh, developed by one private company with the support of the uh, government where there are incinerators and uh, these uh, waste disposal is carried out in uh, greater fashion, bigger fashion. Here in Indore also we do have this uh, solid waste management system. We do have one uh, incinerator which uh, takes care of around five, 500 metric tons uh, of solid waste each and every day. So it's almost certain that uh, we are going to improve day by day. There is another question on law and order please to how to tackle uh, law and order with the increasing size of the city? Uh, I believe this question has the reason because the uh, National Crime Research Bureau has always put Indore on first, second and third position. But believe me, I have, uh, I am born in Uttar Pradesh, brought up in Madhya Pradesh. I have seen several cities. My father has worked in Bihar and Jharkhand. So I don't want to uh, counter claim those views of NCRB. In case of Madhya Pradesh, what I know that uh, the, uh, the kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, approach and the kind of accessibility towards the police or p p to the administrative officer is very high. At no point of time you will see in any other state that uh, police officers are having Jan Sunwai and then they are trying to get complaints and every complaint here in Madhya Pradesh by and large it is registered as an FIR as the uh, system says. So uh, if, if you uh, want to uh, see other cities and uh, want to feel other cities I don't want to name other cities, otherwise it will create a kind of, uh, say, hard bonds to other cities. But I know that my city at this moment, I can say it with proud, it is one of the best cities vis-a-vis -vis Lionel. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, last question. There is a specific question. When the international flights will start from uh, the new airport? International flights. So I, I, I believe it has to be taken in a different phase. International flight starting is linked with the uh, link with one or two things. So number one, there are private operators, uh, they will start as and when, uh, as and when this uh, demand is arisen. But the basic issue is, uh, are we not uh, uh, starting this international flight when our Hajj pilgrims start their journey from Indore airport and they reach to Jeddah, Dubai. So uh, if, uh, we are on the anvil of uh, doing all those things. If any international or national carrier decides and say with your support, with IMS support, as you have invited Mr. Narayan Muthi yesterday, it will, be, it, it will happen sooner rather than the later, by the way. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Once again, I am really thankful to Indore Management you Association. You people probably will not be knowing that we have just buzzed in, rather sneaked in, in this entire program. But uh, IMA uh, people were kind enough uh, to permit us, uh, to allow us to showcase Indore, to show, uh, to show uh, some of the developments which are being carried out by, by Indore. Well done IMA, God bless you next year. Whenever you uh, give uh, somebody life uh, time achievement award, please contact us. And if, uh, if, it, if, uh, two, uh, if at, least, at least two or three can be accommodated in one program, so that will be much, much better. God bless you IMA, God bless you Indore. Three cheers for Indore, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. There are a few questions for our friend uh, from Sweden. The first question is, after having find the best people to work for you, how to retain them? Because probably in India, one of the biggest problem is the attrition of good people uh, from the corporate and the industry. So the, how to retain good people when employed? Well, um, what we do again, first of all, uh, we make our people to be proud of the place where they work. And the only way it is possible to do is to make the best product available uh, in the market. So we involve our people in creation of something which they know is one of the best machinery examples in the world. So this is one thing. Then, as I said, best people, they require some freedom. They need freedom, responsibility, and uh, they need 
environment sometimes to be adjusted according to their needs and even wishes. And uh, we are trying to provide it at least a certain extent. And when they are proud, they feel that they are doing something important. And when they feel free, they like to stay. That's the answer. Another uh, question is about uh, mentorship. Will you please elaborate a little more on the mentorship by the senior people working for the organization? How, how they mentor, mentor the, uh, the juniors who enter the company? Uh, as I said, uh, we, first of all, we have very, very friendly relations and uh, with our seniors, we, we, I'm saying we because I'm also a young guy and I have mentors and uh, I don't feel that they are my mentors, I feel them as my friends and uh, they, they are very eagerly share their experience, share their knowledges and uh, Sometimes, even uh, being somewhere in, on a business trip, we are having dinner, uh, drinking beer, and it seems that we are chat-chatting. But in fact, we are learning experience of our seniors. And we don't even feel it. But in the end of the day, after a few months, uh, being close to our senior friends, uh, not just me, all of us, we, we well, all young, younger generation of Morgan Chalmer, we, we understand that we are becoming more experienced. And this, this is very interesting paradox because we are not able to gather experience in, in two months. And it seems that we are breaking the rules and the laws because uh, experience is something which is not possible to learn. But in friendly atmosphere, equal relations, we achieve learning of experience. This is the way it works, at least in our company. Another question from a friend is, as you have said during your deliberations, that Sweden is one of the most expensive country on the planet Earth. Obviously, this will affect the margins of the company. And still being an industry uh, where the uh, turbulence has been the maximum and it is one of the oldest industry. So how you cut corners and maintain the cost to be the competitive in the market? Yes, uh, we do it with solutions. We shape the market. Uh, 50 years ago uh, in Sweden, in Mogacham, where we made so now I, I must come into some technical details. Um, we, we created housingless uh, rolling stands. Nowadays it's, it's a standard, everyone uses it, and um, nobody even think that some, some times ago it was different. So we created something new. And this new solution make the whole thing much cheaper and at the same time, better. And another, so this is, that was 50 years ago, a very recent example. Uh, we, with our partners um, from Mittal Corporation, uh, we, we are supplying equipment to Mittal Corporation. Now it is under manufacturing in Sweden. We are practicing uh, solutions, operational solutions, which let us to be competitive and making quality things without compromising the quality, we assure that making an equipment only in a quantity which is very needed and not to make more equipment which for example with a cheaper uh, manufactured equipment to achieve the same results as with our equipment. It is necessary to have more machinery, more weight. Uh, more machinery means uh, more space in the workshop, more electrical consumption, more maintenance, more shutdown times. And at the end of the day, uh, this quality, which is of course costly, 
of course, but gives possibility to reduce a lot of costs at the same time. At the end of the day, it makes our partners, our clients profitable. And as I said earlier, the steel industry, steel making is a very competitive market. And to be competitive, it is necessary to have a very, very ultimate tools to be competitive. And this is what we are providing with our solutions and technologies. We are not following solutions. We are not following what other people are doing. We are creating solutions which nobody did before us. So even being uh, quite costly in uh, manufacturing, we assure such a quality as such a quality of manufacturing and uh, solution that it lets us be competitive this is our story another question <clears throat> in next five year or seven year horizon uh, where you see uh, Daniel Mangersheimer and what shall be the contribution of India to the company what shall be the contribution of India to the company's growth in next five to seven years Oh, this is, uh, thank you very much for this question. This is uh, very interesting. Again, um, nowadays uh, in India, uh, steel making is coming from producing of uh, standard carbon steels to some more quality products like stainless steels, like special steels, like tool steels, uh, hyaluid steels. Um, one of the particular example is from Indoor is Metal Corporation. They're making stainless steels. And uh, nowadays, as I said, we have ongoing projects with Metal Corporation. And I see that in the future, this trend will be more and more widely spread. So carbon steels uh, and facilities for carbon steels and generic steels are built in quantity which is enough in India, in China, everywhere. And what we need now, we, because of engineering solutions in different industries, in uh, house building, in structures, in uh, car uh, manufacturing, everywhere, the demand for quality is higher and higher. And when quality comes to a place, we are already at the place because uh, you, it is not possible to make a quality product using equipment of uh, a poor quality. And uh, I do believe that uh, within five, ten years in India, it will be more and more manufacturers and more and more expansion of existing manufacturers who are going into production of quality materials. And uh, I do believe that we will continue our cooperation with India as we have it now. Uh, India is our main client, to be honest. And we are very glad because of this fact. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Namaste. I would request Mr. Rahul Vaidya, Naveen Kandilwal, Subhash Mathur, and Mr. Utkarsh Tavedi to pre come up and present the mementos on behalf of Indoor Management Association to Mr. Raghavendra Singh, Mr. Konstantin, and Mr. Shivakumar. Thank you. I request Mr. Shivakumar to propose a word of thanks to the speakers.
Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> on behalf of IMA and on behalf of I sincerely thank Mr. Raghunda Singh to find time from his uh, uh, busy schedule and be with us and uh, not only showing the future but also a lot of promises to, to be the part of uh, progress of IMA and the city. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you very much. And I also uh, thank on behalf of IMA uh, to Mr. Constantine Karaske to be in India out of his busy schedule. He has been traveling all along. Probably he came from China to Delhi and then Delhi to uh, Indore and be part of us. Uh, we are grateful to have been given insight into a company which is more than 150 years old and hope the younger lot will uh, take few lessons out of his deliberation how to work in future. One important point which he made is that continuity and uh, once a, probably somebody joins, he joins forever, which is against the current trend uh, where the flick of the mouse, the people change their job. So here is an example of a 150 year old company where jobs have not been changing and the man also is not in changing, but they are still making progress. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. There is a slight change in the uh, schedule of the program. There won't be any tea, tea break. The next session will be continued and the tea would be served here itself. Speakers are getting ready. In the meantime, I would invite the Conclave Chairman CA Santosh Machal to make some acknowledgments. Conclave, it's a very difficult task and it may be possible that I may miss some name while acknowledging. So please excuse me, I am trying to cover at the best possible. First of all, we are thankful of our sponsors, especially Patan Sponsor, State Bank of India. We are thankful of CGM Mishra Saab who is sitting here since last two days. He is with us. We are thankful of Tata International Limited, Mittal Corp Limited, Aishar Motors Limited, EWD PL, Flexitaf, Mahale Migma, Bhatia International, Renbexi, Kiloskar, The Man Group, Agrawal Group, Kriti Industries, Hind Filters, STI Group, Rajatna Global, Sonic Biochem, Devisman India, Rosy Blue, Arihant Capital, Force Motors, Silver Spring Business Park, Piramal Healthcare, Symbiotic, LIC, Cummins, Tata Precisions, VSN, Sigma, Madhya Pradesh Stock Exchange, Swan Finance, Hospitality Partner, Seaji Hotels, Stationary Partners, Chorus India Limited, Radio Partner, Radio Mirchi, Event Partner, Fusion, Outdoor Partner, Perfect Scan, and Health Partner, CHL Apollo, Hospitalities. Friends, we are thankful to our local administration, 
म्युनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन पोलीस डिपार्टमेंट एम पी क्रिकेट असोसिएशन फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग देअर स्पेस बास्केटबॉल कॉम्प्लेक्स ऍडमिनिस्ट्रेटर कलेक्टर इंदोर एम पी ई बी इंदोर ट्राफिक पोलीस अभय प्रशाल ट्रस्ट ऑल असोसिएट वेंडर्स वॉलेंटर्स फ्रॉम वेरियस बी स्कूल्स अराउंड हंड्रेड वॉलेंटर्स वर इन्वॉल्व इन दिस टू डेज कॉन्क्लेव media media cover this conclave like anything when we have the press conference 15 days back we simply request media that hum ye jo program karte hain usko hum pahuncha sakte hain mushkil se 1000 corporates aur 2500 students tak agar hame ise waqai mein international status pahunchana hai to we need the support of media otherwise jangal mein mor nacha kisne dekha एंड फ्रेंड्स पिछले 20 दिनों में सिंस लास्ट 20 डेज मीडिया ने जो क्षमा बांधा है शहर में जो एक पिच क्रिएट किया है और उसका ही परिणाम है कि इन लास्ट टू डेज वी हैव फुल कवरेज फ्रॉम मीडिया सो वी आर थैंकफुल ऑफ मीडिया लास्ट बट नॉट लिस्ट आवर ओन टीम आई एम ए वी आर थैंकफुल टू आवर ऑल बोर्ड मेंबर्स friends i am a is a ngo we all working here are uh, this working out of our passion only we all are the industrialist professionals from various walk of the life i am thankful to board members our educative committee council committee and secretariat i will especially like to take the name of mahesh sharma ji jagdish verma ji and our own president shamit dave secretary mr asim there is one very good saying in rajasthani and malvi the mil bichdo mat roi jo maharaj ram ji milayega to fir milega but iim mein hum ulta kehte hain hum kisi ko bichhadne ka mauka hi nahi dete hain we have continue process of learning in ima we have continue workshops various lectures by that you can get connected yourself throughout the period and men please maintain it we look forward to you last age mentioned by collector sir if they are with ima ima with them definitely ima is very much interested in the development of indoor not only at the local level state level but also at the global level Thank you thank you very much